Ed Nicholson, fun with fitness. Fun with fitness, Ed Nicholson. Do I have anybody in here who does a lot of fitness or group exercise classes or anything like that? Thank you. Fellow Toastmasters and most welcome guests, I'm going to tell you a couple of stories about myself and my experience with group exercise classes. I think they're going to be kind of amusing, funny stories, so feel free to laugh out when you feel like it. Their stories are intended to be funny. So, first story. A few years ago, I was involved in a group exercise class called Body Sculpture. This is before I became an instructor myself, so I was just one of the students in the class at that time. Body Sculpture is where you use a lot of relatively small weights, something like these. And the idea is to move them very quickly to exercise the various different parts of the body. This can be, for example, the bicep or the tricep. But the key part is, is that the music helps move you along and the instructor, the particular instructor, was very good at timing the music with the body movements so everybody had a lot of fun and got a pretty good all over body core, core workout. Because you concentrate on one part, move on to the next, move on to another, move on to yet another, and before the, the hour-long class was finished, all the major body parts had been covered in a suitable order such that you didn't end up, so you end up with a good overall workout in terms of muscle conditioning. Now that's what the class was itself. It's a, a class that was really quite suitable for both men and women. It wouldn't give a lot of bulk to the muscles, but it would give good definition, which looks good both on men and women, in my humble opinion. Anyway, the story is, why were there so few guys in these classes? Well, it's not because they didn't try. They did. But I'll tell you why they didn't stay. I think it was because of the macho factor. Now, what does that really mean? Okay, this is, this is what happens. I'll give you a little story. You see, these, these guys would come in, and they would look around, and they would see all the other students in the class. They would see some helpless femmes, they would see some young mummies, and they would see this old guy near the front. That was me at the time. So they would, in understanding that they needed some weights for the class, they would go up to the weight rack and they would grab the very biggest weights that were there. And then they would continue the workout. So we're all working out, and then midway through the story, or the, the exercise class, they can barely lift their arms. And then it gets bad for them. Because then they look around and they see all these helpless femmes. They see these young mummies. And worse yet, that old guy near the front are still going as if there was no problem whatsoever. So like I mentioned earlier, the class was very hard on the macho factor. And these guys usually didn't come back too much. Okay, now on to the second story. Recently I've come across a new, about a year ago, a little over a year ago, I came across a new type of exercise class called Zumba. Zumba is a Latin dance inspired exercise class that is a great cardio, overall cardio and core workout. Now, why does this work so good? Because it's a little bit daring, it's fun, and you get a great cardio and core workout out of it. Now, the, the pounding Zumba music, the Latin style music, wants to move you all by itself. Then there is the, the instructor shows the students exactly what body movements to do. So that the students just come, Follow what the instructor does and have a great time. Now, I love this class so much that it, is, it inspired me to become a, a phys, to become a fitness instructor myself. I had to do that in order to properly teach Zumba in itself as well, which I'm now teaching in, in, in both in Chalk River and in Petawawa. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about why this class is so popular. 
that I mentioned, that's fun. That I mentioned that the students in the class get as hard a workout in their grin bones on their face and their grin muscles on their face as they get overall the entire body. So why are they getting such a grin workout? Because maybe the class is a little risque too. They certainly have seen movies and videos in the past about what is involved in Latin dancing. And here, with the magic of Zumba, they find themselves doing the same thing. It's a lot of fun, a little risque, maybe a little naughty. Maybe that helps with the fun. Okay. So, the exercise classes themselves, the instructor, that's me at the front, will lead the students in a particular pattern. Sometimes, this is a, a very slow example of what the, the, some of the patterns would be like for the feet. And then there's patterns that involve the core part of the body. These can be simple movements like that. They can be a little bit more daring, risky stuff like that. And they can be shoulder movements, something like this. A lot of them go together along with the music. They're all choreographed together. They all smoothly go together. And they provide a workout so intense that people are sweating. They're getting a terrific core workout. They're getting rid of their love handles. Everything is working out fantastic. And they're so having so much fun that the hour is done and they hardly realize it. That is what Zumba is all about. It's a lot of fun. Now, that's the two stories I was going to tell you that I'm doing. But I want to end on one more note here about just how well this Zumba is working out. After one class, a young lady came to me and gave me a big hug. I didn't expect that, but I like hugs, so I, I was okay with me. Then she explained to me why she gave me a hug. She said that she considered herself a klutz and that she just could not dance. And yet, at that class, following me, she danced. Madam Chair. Sure.